Welcome to TCM, everybody. I'm Michael Feinstein. Tonight, as part of our Summer Under the Stars Festival, we're celebrating the films of Lucille Ball, which essentially fall into one of two categories. Her career before she became an international TV star with I Love Lucy, or after. Up next is a film that was made well after her television stardom from United Artists in 1968. It's Yours, Mine, and Ours. Lucy had optioned the book that the movie was based on several years earlier. It went through several writers, including some who had worked with her in her early I Love Lucy days. It's based on the true story of Helen North and Frank Beardsley. Both had been widowed and left with several children each. He had ten and she had eight. The two ended up meeting, falling in love, getting married, and having to put up with 18 kids. Lucy's co-star in this film is Henry Fonda. They had teamed 26 years earlier for Ball's final film under her RKO contract, a film noir creation called The Big Street. This film is directed by Mel Shavelson, who certainly had his hands full with Lucy, because at this point in her career, she had been the star of not one, but two successful TV sitcoms. There was no doubt that she knew her way around a set, but Shavelson, who had already directed several films and was a former writer for Bob Hope, found himself being second-guessed about almost everything. Mel's feelings were revealed later when someone asked him what it was like to work with 18 children. Shavelson, obviously referring to Lucy, replied that it was actually 19. Lucy was stung by that comment, but the end result clearly was worth it. Yours, Mine, and Ours ended up as one of the year's top-grossing movies, and Shavelson had to admit that when it came to physical comedy, Lucy was at the top of her game, even though she was nearing 60. From 1968, here's Yours, Mine, and Ours.